one. All right, let's go to our guest today. Of course, it's uh, John Asaroff and uh, Murray Smith is here with us here today. And the book author, The Answer, Grow Any Business, Achieve Financial Freedom, and Live an Extraordinary Life. Okay, fellas, welcome to Traders Nation. How are you today? We're doing great. Thanks for having us. Good, good. Who's this one, John? Um, no, this is Murray. Hey, and Murray. This is John. Hey, John. How are you guys? Almost sound alike. So you guys, just if you don't mind, just kind of give us the answers as they come. Okay. You got it. All right. Hey, what brought you two to write the answer? You know, we were really looking all around us, and uh, people are talking about how the American dream is in, in the fight of its life, and and people are having a hard time. And we've built eighteen companies between us, and they're growing another one right now, and we're having great successes and we want to share with people what it really takes to have the, the certainty and the confidence to build a business despite of what's happening in the economy. Yeah, let's talk about that real quickly because you built uh, 18 multi-million dollar businesses and let's face it, it's not easy to do. Uh, what, what beliefs, thoughts and actions were, are, were needed to uh, get them going and on their way? Well, the first belief is that, and thought is that you, you have to believe that it's possible. Right. You have to have the confidence um, to believe it's possible, and you have to have the certainty, and the certainty is knowing how to do it. Right. And if you know how to do it, and you have the belief, that's ninety percent of it. Sure. All right. So, all right. So you've got you've got the thought, you, an action too, because let's face it, good intentions don't mean nothing unless you have action or follow through, right? Yeah. If you've got good intentions and you don't take the right action in the right order, they'll take away your furniture. <laughs> that's correct. All right. Now, listen. Uh, what's the best way to rewire our brains? Because some people. You know, just they just don't quite have their wires in the right direction for success, and uh, really need to be re rewired in some ways. I know somebody personally, and uh, how would that be done? Well, you know, it's interesting is we did a lot of research lately about you know why people don't do the things they know they should do, even though if they have the right information. And what we found is there's a part of the brain that gathers information, and there's another part of the brain that actually gets you to take action. And using the latest brain research, we found that you can do affirmations and visualizations and certain types of meditations that affect the part of the brain that gets you to actually change. And what we wrote about in chapters uh, three and four is really the easiest ways to do that in three to five minutes a day so that you actually change from the inside and then you start to think differently and behave differently. And yeah. if, you, if you think about it, we've been conditioned our entire lives. For yeah. me, that's 53 years. Right. I've been conditioned to act, and to believe, and to think, and to do a certain way. Yeah. I want a different outcome. Right. I've, I've got to upgrade my programming. No differently than we upgraded cell phones in the last 20 years, yeah. upgraded computers. You've got to upgrade your mental conditioning in order to be able to get different results. Right. John Murray, isn't LSD faster? <laughs> LSD is a lot faster. <laughs> uh, obviously, a, a chemical is going to alter a lot more than you're thinking. <laughs> That's correct, and it may get you there quicker, too. <laughs> All right, now, just kidding, folks. Name one example. What's a good example to attract uh, and use newly discovered uncommon senses uh, to, to achieve this goal that you put yourself out to for success? Well, you know, we're so used to dealing with our physical senses, hear, see, smell, taste, and touch. Sure. And the reason we wrote the answer is because we're finding out that there are uncommon senses. Let me give you an example. We know that everything in the universe is made up of energy, and every one of us has an intuitive factor, a mental faculty of mind, that we know some things before anything's ever said. Well, by understanding how to utilize the intuitive part of the brain, which, again, science has now shown us that we can do it, we can apply that to growing our business and to really understanding what we should be doing. All right. This it, stuff is real simple. John and I we didn't grow up with a silver spoon in our mouth. Neither of us are educated. Yeah. I, I wasn't even allowed to go to regular school because I had a severe learning disability and had to go to a school for special kids. If we can go out there and build a couple of dozen businesses, sure. um, anybody can do it. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. All right, so it's one thing to think that uh, someone, for them to think that they should be wealthy, but it's another to back it up with killer strategies. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, the strategy is, is the core to that. You can think it, but you need that strategy and you need that execution of the strategy, correct? Absolutely. What we did is when we looked back at how we built every one of our companies, we asked ourselves, what were the common denominators? And in, in the second half of the answer in the book, we wrote down exactly how you have to think about growing your business. And so simple things like who specifically is your client? And yeah. we created a process for understanding exactly who to target. Every one of us, when we, when we want to make a purchase decision, we go through a decision-making process. And so what is that decision-making process? Well, that's in, in the chapters in the second half of the book. And, and the, the important part about the answer 
is that it focuses on the critical few things that everyone needs to do every day and not the trivial many. There's hundreds of moving parts in business. Most of them you don't have to think about on a daily basis, but there are a critical few, and the answer gives you the specific answers to what they are. All right, now you mentioned a key word to me, and that's customer. So what's a great way to successfully reach um, my ideal customer? Well, first you have to understand who is most likely to be an ideal customer. Is it a male? Is it a female? Are they in their 20s? Are they in their 50s? Are they of a certain uh, ethnicity? Yeah. Uh, what kind of income do they make? If you understand who is most likely not to just buy your product or your service, but to buy your product, your service, and then tell five friends, right. then you can start to find where those people are. We know right now, for example, if, you're, if your ideal customer is a blonde hair male, left-handed, blue eyes, we know exactly where to find lists of where that individual is and then you can create a message that deals specifically with that person with those needs which increases significantly your chances of selling that person your product or service. All right, now is it fair to say that the answer to your book teaches you how to harness all three laws of attraction uh, and uh, action all together? Well, yeah, absolutely. There, there's three laws that work in, in, uh, in, that coincide. One is the law of attraction, which yeah. many people heard from you know the movie the, and the book The Secret. Yeah. Um, and then there's the law of gestation, which is really uh, just uh, just telling us that every seed has an incubation or gestation period, a period sure. of time that you've got to wait before it goes from an idea or thought or seed to something physical. And then there's the third law, which is really the law of action, but not just any action. You know, as Murray suggested before, there's a lot of people doing busy work, and they're busting their butts, but they're not doing the right things. And so what we've done in the book is really tell people, stop doing all of these things and do just these things. The critical few, as Murray suggested. All right. Now, where can we find the book at, fellas? Barnes & Noble? Barnes & Noble. Amazon's a great place. If they want, uh, some, uh, if they want to enter into our million-dollar business giveaway, have them go to readtheanswer.com. And we're giving away a million, too, in cash and prizes to people who buy the book, to people who just want to help grow their businesses. All right, readtheanswer.com, right? You got it. All right, I'm going to be over there. How many times can I uh, submit my name? Uh, you can submit your name as many times as you like. Nice. Uh, just hit reload. You got it. Nice. Good enough. All right, today we have uh, John Asseroff with us here today, and, of course, uh, Murray Smith, book authors of The Answer, Grow Any Business, Achieve Financial Freedom and Live an Extraordinary Life, of course, fantastic. Head out today, get a copy, Barnes & Noble, Amazon.com, and your favorite or your favorite local bookstore, okay? Wherever they carry fine books, you're going to find this. John, Murray, thanks for being on Traders Nation today. I appreciate your time. Thanks so much. Great interview. You're more than welcome. All right. All right, there you have it, folks. And, uh, again, uh, good, good information, Grony Business. These guys are 18 multi-million dollar companies, 18 of them. And uh, let me tell you what, they know what they're talking about, that's for sure.